do a video today show you how to do a reset of um, your lighting ECU on the Freelander 2. Um, we've been playing about with these new style rear lights we're fitting and in our playing about we've worked out you can trip the lighting control ECU. We'll show you what that is. So at the moment both lights are working. Now the thing that seems most susceptible, if you've got a blown bulb or something it can do it. We can actually induce the error with these lights. Um, because we've we've changed the uh, we, we've we've put a fault in these purposefully for the demonstration. Um, so if we put the lights go on then in, put the lights on on auto. If we put the lights on auto there, and we start the car. Right, and then put the right. Hold on, wait for the lights to click in. Um, let's have a look. We got no lights, maybe it's too light, hold on. Let me turn the lights off. Oh, our lights are on, okay. So we've tripped those out now. Um, they've tripped. Um, actually, can you just turn it on? Can you just put the lights on again? You just put the lights on manual. And what you'll notice um, when your tail lights trip is your number plate light still comes on, but your tail lights don't. And this is where the, the lighting control ECU gets proper mashed up. And there's nothing you can do to get that back. You can start and stop it and unplug the lights. Um, unless you do an ECU reset. Now apparently Land Rover will do it for you. But apparently you can do it yourself. Or you can do it yourself. So if you put your key in. Right now don't put your foot on the brake. And if you just hold the button in. You can actually start the ignition. But without starting the car. So let that do it. Then turn it off again. Then start the car this foot time. On the foot on the brake. Start the car, right, and then put the lights on, and that actually clears the ECU fault. There we go, so good luck with that. 